hi everyone welcome back to my channel so I thought I'd share with you what I've been up to today I've been making some junk journal covers so this is one of them um, and these are made from corrugated cardboard packaging from Amazon um book pages tissue page shared with you how i made this cluster and i've just um used another corrugated cardboard there and i made some again packaging collaged and mod and um put some poppy tissue paper in there and yeah so i'm gonna fill this up with lots of good things very soon and so I have been making use of my, you know, the packaging that I get from Amazon. Um, so I've been covering them now and I think I made a booboo. I should have, I'll, I'll, I'll sort this out. But I should have put this one inside rather than outside. I'm not sure. Yeah, maybe I should do that rather than that. Because this has got like, um, what should I call it? <laughs> um, grooves in them. And I thought that would be a good thing to have for a book, but turns out it might not be okay. But. We shall see. Or is it too narrow? I'm not sure now. Um, so I'll rectify this. Probably cover it again or cover it with fabric. Um, but that's ready for drying. And this one, um, still deciding. I think I'm going to cover it. Hmm. I'm not sure. I don't know. So I choose which one. Again, this is packaging from Amazon. I'm in a very, I'm in a mood for scrap, scrap busting or junk journaling or junk using. <laughs> Call it what you wish. Um, so this is, so basically I have cut this to, the cover is eight, six by eight and a half. And I've made use of the of the folds already on the packaging as my spine. So that's about an inch and a half. And then I've um, cut out a separate, um, just slightly smaller width, um, just to reinforce the front and the back cover and the spine. Because obviously the boxes are a bit flimsy, you know those little boxy not boxy cardboard packaging um so that's how i and just glue them and let them dry so if you want me to show you how to do that then do let me know in the comments below but i will think i don't know i think i'm gonna use this as a um i'm using pba glue because that's all i've got <laughs> um, i'm just being extra careful I know it's a bit too wet and some people don't use don't use PVA glue but I think I I I I need to be assured that my journal is um stre uh, strong or not strong but sturdy enough to withstand abuse so why tend oh, that's the smoother side so I'm gonna do that and just put in this well I'll leave about an inch gap on each on every side it does wrinkle so I use my don't I'm trying not to use lots of glue so it doesn't um, um, what should we call it? Doesn't wrinkle too much. So I'm just burnishing it down with my bone folder and just making sure that I get the creases very good. 
tend to kind of like bend it so that it gets used to be in, in that position. Like I think what happened on the first one, I didn't really bend it that much. So it didn't like it being folded up and hence it um, broke. I'm not sure whether this is the right way to do it, but in my head it is. Sorry about this. Just need to kind of like do the creases good. Oh, by the way, I've used um, book binders tape to kind of like reinforce the spine for some of them um, for the folds again. So. I said I like my covers sturdy. So I'm just gonna cut and leave an inch allowance on this. And I think the next time we see each other, we will paint this or yeah, paint the journal. I thought I'd just hop on quickly just to show you how I create my journal covers. Well, a, jur a journal cover. Um, I have used different methods. So this is one of them. Um, just taking out some of the bulk. Okay. Just make sure that that's burnished enough. Just make sure that the tearing doesn't happen again. So I'm, I'm kind of showing you what happens. <laughs> you know, you don't see the perfect things. Uh, you see what that I do make mistakes as well. Well, a lot of them. Okay, so that's well and truly stuck. I think what I'm gonna do is to apply my glue very thinly so it doesn't doesn't crease. I hope you can see it. Oh sorry, yeah, you can see it, sorry. I'm working on my kitchen table because my craft table is just <laughs> there's no space in it <laughs> I need to tidy up again um, plus I need the extra space and there's a lot of distractions in that room okay so don't worry I'll clean my kitchen table I do clean it afterwards Okay, and move on to the other side. There you go. Sorry if I'm not talking too much. I'm concentrating. I can't. I can't grab. <laughs> talk at the same time sorry about that guys but I'll do my best to practice in the future I miss things okay so that's that let's 
just so much rubbish from Am not you know packaging from Amazon that that goes into the bin. I just, you know, they they go to recycling, but if we can u make use of them, why not? the problem was my glue was too wet that's why it split ah. okay. let's do this side then just take up a little bit of triangle like an angle on the flap going towards the spine so it doesn't have any bulk so in the past I used to not do this and I have a bulk and it annoys the pants out of me so I'm trying this and I hope that it will work it won't give me that bulk oh you know what I forgot before I did this is to cut out the corners right so Let's cut out the corners, but leave a bit. Don't put it right butting in into the pointy, pointy corner of the cover. It just makes it neater. Okay. okay. Right. So then I usually fold the middle first. Brilliant. Okay. Right. So I'm going to try and fold it again. It's really... Right. So this is, this is good because I've learned from my mistake from the first cover that I did. Um, so the lesson of the day is not to get your not to put too much glue that makes it so wet okay that will do was so wet I think so yeah learn from my mistake guys learn from my mistake but it's still good because this is a junk journal we are not going to be very well we are going to be precious about it but not too precious that we want it to be perfect um, so you want um, want it to be very you know looking like handmade <laughs> with love <laughs> okay yeah I think I have the problem is I have because I've got wet glue 
I've made it, made it too wet. That's why it wasn't sitting nicely. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Okay. Don't, I'm not going to be worried about that. Okay. So that's my second cover. That's going to go there to dry. Okay. So we have our three covers. Um, as you can see, this one has actually split, but we will sort that out. Don't you worry. Um, yeah, quite pleased with those. That'll be good. Got three journals to be made. We have three journals, three covers to be made into journals. And and I've got this ready to be filled out. Let me know what you think, guys. So I'm really chuffed about this. It's a bit red, but I think we're gonna go for poppy, poppy theme, and that's why I've put making memories because to me, poppy is Remembrance Day or remembering things. Um, and this is a going back to this cover this is kind of like a fluke so this um was just a butterfly print out uh, from mirami art um mirami small art and i've put some like three-dimensional liquid in it including that just to and then it curled up that's a happy accident i'm quite chuffed about that this was just from my Bits and Bobs box. Um, and this one is a tissue paper from Colette, which we've swapped and it was poppy because since it's got, I've got poppy outside, poppies outside, I thought I'd um, decorate the insides with puppies. Poppies? Yeah, not puppies, poppies. So yeah. Hope you like what I've shared, guys. I think I'm going to leave this or I might just put a washi tape, a colorful washi tape here. I might use that inside too. So it's, um, it, it's cohesive. And then I'm going to be making some signatures. I started making some bits and bobs for a journal that I was saying to you. So watch this space and we will I will continue to share with you how I finish this journal and other journals perhaps once I finish them I'll um share it with you all right guys thanks for watching bye for now